Well, tomorrow, Israel will honor tens of thousands of fallen heroes during Memorial Day. It begins Tuesday evening. The Defense Ministry says that this year, since last Memorial Day, 71 IDF soldiers and security personnel died in service in the state of Israel from either combat, attacks, or accidents. Since last year's Memorial Day, also 12 civilians have been killed in attacks. Millions will visit cemeteries across the nation. Our Elon Levy reports from Mount Herzl in Jerusalem. It was a powerful morning at Mount Herzl, Israel's national military cemetery in Jerusalem, where the country has begun official preparations for Remembrance Day, which will begin tomorrow evening, Tuesday. The entire country bowing their heads in grief for everyone who has fallen in the line of duty or was killed in a terror attack since even before the birth of the state. 23,645 Israelis since 1880. That's according to the latest count. This morning, we could see Israeli soldiers placing small Israeli flags marked with a black ribbon on each and every single one of the thousands of identical Jerusalem stone graves here at Mount Herzl. As we can see, families also placing their own individual personal tokens of admiration and respect for their loved ones who fell in the line of duty. This morning, the nation's heads of security services, the army, the police, the secret services attended a ceremony uh, at the Hall of Remembrance here, a spiral, a spiral shaped edifice uh, with thousands of bricks embedded in the walls with the names of every one of the fallen. Of course, scenes of very raw grief and tears, the people touching and taking photographs of the latest people who are added this year. 71 people added to the total number of dead. And many soldiers here, friends of whose were killed, many parents as well grieving. Everyone looking around, recognizing the country's very tense security situation, knowing that next year the number of dead is certain to rise and desperately praying that that number will be as small as possible. Elon Levy, I-24 News. Elon reporting first. The Defense Ministry uh, noting that the 23,645 figure is from fallen soldiers, not including civilians over the decades.